You know, I have talked to many people around the world. And there are fe the feeling I get from many Sikhs is that the, the goal in their life is to receive Guruji's Amrit. And that once they've done that, they've achieved what it means to truly be a Sikh. That there's a goal, and the goal is to receive Amrit. You can't truly perfect yourself without Guruji's Amrit. But you know, in another video we made years ago called Amrit and Commitment, I mentioned that Amrit is the physical ceremony of the Amrit Sanchar is a seal in your own consciousness of your own commitment to your discipline, to your head, because it serves you. And you have realized that you are at a stage in your own personal growth that this discipline is natural to you and that it feels right and that that's who you are in this incarnation. You know, there are a lot of people who wear, I have seen this in my own eyes, a lot of people wear Nihangbana to look good. But actually, we're all playing parts, aren't we? You know, we all dress in costumes for one reason or another. Whatever you wear, it's a costume of some sort. You chose to wear it. Guruji speaks up again and again about people who dress like sadhus, but their hearts are filthy. People who look like imams or saints or whatever. But in their hearts, they have not worked through their own kadamas yet, and they're not able to serve in that expansive and uh, neutral way that is how service is truly performed. So, this path, this dharam, which we call Sikh dharam, and a dharam is a path, it's the action that you incarnated in this lifetime to perform. When you constantly try to escape from it or avoid it, uh, it doesn't matter because it's still your dharam and you still have to come back and do it. So, Amrit is something that is already inside everyone. Guruji speaks of that sweetness that comes in your mouth when you chant and when you meditate on Nam, and that the, the Amrit drips down inside you. Then that sweetness fills you and all your words are filled with sweetness and compassion. That doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't mean you're a, a mushy person, a weak person, because you're compassionate. It means that you act from the strength of that compassion. Because it's solid, it's deep, it's incontrovertible, it's your root you are rooted in the Guru. That's your root, your connection. So it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be wearing this costume or that costume or this costume. Guru Gobind Singh gave us a set of tools to use on this path, on this dharam. And those tools are universal tools. They'll work for anyone, but we're the people who incarnated to use those tools. We can share them with others. 
Other people can use those tools to work on themselves, but they were gifts that were given to us by our guru. That doesn't mean they're exclusive. And you know, people say, well, people who've received Guru Ji Samit, you know, they're the exclusive club of Khalsa. Yeah, you're Khalsa, I'm not. You know, he's in the club, I'm not in the club. That is just, again, a very kind of ego way of thinking about it. We're all exactly where we are. You are Vana, then you get to enjoy the power of that tool. You do Nitnam, then you get to enjoy the sweetness of the Bani. You do Gatka, then you get to enjoy the fact that the sword is Pritam Bhagavati and moves by itself in your hand and you have that moment where you don't exist and it's all happening and you're the center of it and you're watching it. Those things are about your consciousness. Receiving Guruji's Amrit doesn't make you into something and transform you into something. You have to become that something yourself through your own discipline, through your own devotion, through your own caring about your own soul in this lifetime and honoring your soul and your incarnation. But when you experience that, the Amrit is in you all the time, and you experience it. Even if you don't experience it, it's there, but you're just not experiencing it yet. So that seal of Amrit is only a self-affirmation, a self-initiation, where you surrender and you give your head. And it's symbolic of the fact that you're not living for yourself anymore. You're not living for your desires, your attachments, your wants, your needs. You have literally let go and become Maharajji's property to use as he wishes in this incarnation. Mm -hmm.